Hi, my name is Sandy Carter and I'm IBM's General Manager for Ecosystem Development and a Social Business Evangelist. And this is our Social Business Coffee Break. Today we're going to talk about DevOps. And I know you're probably thinking, DevOps, what does that have to do with social business or what does that have to do with me as a business leader? But it truly has an impact because it's the way that your teams inside your companies are developing new applications. Now DevOps, to really understand it, you really need to go and look at two big revolutions that are happening today. The first is mobile, and I'm sure you know that because you, you have a mobile device in your phone, in your hand, probably right now. There are about two billion smartphone users by next year, 2015. And 79% of those make purchase decisions by the phone. 62% of emails are open on a mobile device. I think probably more on my phone for sure. So mobile has really started this revolution of the need for something like DevOps. It really accelerated when cloud then came into the picture. Uh, cloud, while providing you more scalability and more flexibility, there's also a need now to figure out how do we leverage and combine mobile and cloud development. Because when you combine those two technologies, which most people do today, I'm sure your company does, you need to make sure that you're supporting multiple platforms, your iPad, your Android device. There is an expectation now, because of cloud and because of mobile, that you're going to get daily updates, right? You can go to your app store and you can get an update almost at any time. Failure also is very public, as opposed to what it used to be in the, in the past. And moving all apps to the, to the cloud you know, may provide some challenges too if you don't do it in the right way. So enter DevOps, again driven by this movement to cloud and to mobile. While 86% of companies believe that DevOps is important to a competitive advantage, far fewer have started to leverage or use it. So what exactly is DevOps? Well, it, as its simplest form, it's about combining your development team and your operations team. But it is more than just an organizational announcement. It's also about the way that they collaborate. It's the way that they integrate. How do they build the code? But also, how do they test that code? How do they release the code? Because again, those failures of a mobile app are very public. So it's really about continuously looking at the software, not just the development of it, but the way that you test it, you deploy it, and you monitor it in the, in the marketplace. So it's really important in today's environment, even as a business leader, that you think about DevOps. So we've come up with three best practices that we believe can help you, from a business perspective, think about this importance of DevOps. So best practice one is about bringing together your mobile team and your enterprise team. Today, a lot of these teams work in silos. In fact, yesterday I was with a big Fortune 10 company that has separate teams doing this. If all of your developers have some basic operation skills, not just throwing them over the, the, the wall, then you're able to produce more reliable and better built mobile applications. That mobile development skill is not something that everyone naturally has. So you may want to run some workshops to make sure they understand what's really required in that area. Best practice number two is really to look at automation. Um, if you think about it, with so many mobile apps coming out, right, not just one gigantic enterprise app, but many mobile apps, automating how you test and monitor those applications, looking at simulators to show how your apps perform in the wild, if you would, and using analytics to monitor their performance will really give you a lot of bang for your buck, especially in today's new mobile cloud world. And then finally, last but not least, look for cloud containers for app portability. We know that Unix, uh, especially the Linux version, provides you with this container capability. And if you look at things like Docker, these containers work like what I call plant pots. They help you to move the app through development into the cloud. It makes very efficient use of what you're doing. Again, as you look at that, it's really important that you take a look at the way that you're doing this portability. Now, IBM SoftLayer has really taken advantage of some of the work that's done with these containers, and Bluemix does deploy virtual containers using OpenStack as well. So as a business leader, start to think about DevOps. How does that impact what you're doing, especially as you combine some of the, the ways that you're doing mobile and cloud today? My name is Sandy Carter, and this has been our Social Business Coffee Break.